So we've seen several ways now to output our artwork for the web. I'm going to show you a different method now. This will give us uh, even more control over the file size and the image quality. So if I go to file, go down to export and then choose save for web legacy. It's got the word legacy there in parentheses because it's been around since the days of dial up internet. Most of the options you'll see these days in Photoshop will try and steer us towards export as or quick export. But um, this actually offers greater flexibility. So when I click on that, you'll get a window that pops up on screen that will no doubt need to be enlarged. So if I just drag the corners out here and it will on opening up, take us to the optimized view. So this is a preview of whichever file format it's picked for us, but you can change that to two up by clicking on the tab at the upper left hand side. And that will give us a comparison between on the left window, the original file, and on the right hand side, the optimized previewed version. As you can see, this is set to be JPEG at the bottom left hand side of its window. And it gives us a predicted file size of just under sort of uh, 790K in there. So it's already, a, you know, two to 300K smaller than what we've seen so far with export as. The majority of the work is done on the right hand side of this dialog box. So first and foremost, Pick the correct file format now because this is photographic continuous turned image jpeg is the best one to choose and you may well find that when you do pick jpeg it sets the quality to very high so that will give us a quality percentage in other words of 80. i dare say that you could reduce that down to 60 or from the drop down menu high and you'd probably still get a good quality looking image Lower down, we have a checkbox to convert to sRGB. Of course, I will leave that turned on. Uh, lower down, we have the metadata drop down. So the default is copyright and contact info. I, I'm going to leave that set as the default, but just to show you, you could choose to export all the metadata or you could choose all except camera info. So if you don't wish to include things like the camera model, the lens, flash firing and things like that, then you could choose all except camera info. Lower down, we have image size. Again, it tells us in here that the original image size is 1080 by 1920. Uh, if you wish to, you could reduce that. Um, you could also go to the percentage field, just the right hand side and, and choose to output to say 50%, for example. And then finally, at the bottom left hand side of the window, we're still getting a file size of around 780K in there as a prediction. And all that then remains is to go down to save and export the finished JPEG file. I'll browse back into the output folder and I'll just add an underscore and legacy to this file now to differentiate it and then click on save. So if you do wish to have more control over how you export the quality and the file size of your artwork, save for web legacy is a good option to choose.